smashed windows, cars on fire. One of Europe's most peaceful capitals, Stockholm, now witnessing its worst outbreak of violence in years. Hundreds of youths, mostly immigrants, have ripped through the city's suburbs in four nights of unrest. The violence has shocked the country, famous for its attractive immigration policies and very generous welfare system. RT's Peter Oliver reports from Stockholm. We've seen a fourth night of violence here in Stockholm. Wednesday had been relatively quiet. We'd seen um, community leaders out on the streets trying to stop young people from rioting, from setting fire to cars and other things. Um, as you can see from what's going on just behind me, once they've gone in for the evening, it seems that the cars have gone up. The people have started setting for more fires. We've seen stones thrown at, at the police, at journalists as well. Um, and this is all continuing from what we've seen start on Sunday here in Stockholm. Now, um, it's being claimed that this was all started following a police shooting of a 69-year-old man. Uh, he was killed by police officers in his apartment, um, apparently uh, holding a machete while he was um, slain by police. Uh, that started the first night of violence that's continued uh, throughout the week here in Stockholm. Now, talking to community leaders, they say that one of the reasons for this has been down to unemployment here. Uh, in these particular areas. I'm in the, uh, the suburb of Husby, which is um, not too far from the centre of Stockholm. It's been one of the worst hit areas uh, by violence in recent nights. Um, they're saying that although Sweden's unemployment figures are actually below the EU average, when you look at youth unemployment, we're talking about the under 25s, nearly a quarter of the Swedish population are out of work. And if you look at the people who have been taking part in the, the violence that we've seen, they are all um, very, very young people indeed. That's one of the reasons why um, earlier on Wednesday evening, it seemed like things were under control when we saw parents and um, religious leaders out on the streets. It seems though that once they've gone to bed, then the trouble has started again as violence continues to rack the Swedish city. Correspondent Peter Oliver there. Now, Sweden has for years been accepting immigrants who fail to integrate and are only there to get money for nothing. Now, that's the view of Swedish journalist Ingrid Kalkvist. The problem is not from the government or from the Swedish people. The last uh, 20 years or so, we have, we have seen so many immigrants coming to Sweden that they that really doesn't like Sweden. They don't want to integrate. They don't want to live in this society, you know, working, paying taxes and so on. The people that come here now, they come here because they know that Sweden will give them money for nothing. They don't have to work. They don't have to pay taxes. They can just stay here and get a lot of money. And that is, you know, really the problem. The police could do so much. They have told the public that they mean to do as little as possible. But they could go in there. They could use, you know, water cannons. They could uh, do um, not letting people out in the streets at night. There are so many things they could do within the law. But they don't do it. 